In this cybersecurity video, we're going to start working or building a uh, basic port scanner in Python. And the tool that we're going to use or the library that we're going to use is Scapy. So Scapy is a very powerful Python library that allows us to manipulate or to work with network packets. We could, we could do this using um, Nmap, not the scanner itself the command line scanner but also we could use nmap uh, python library and we'd, we'd be able to achieve uh, our desired purpose in a couple of lines of code but we want to go um, a level bit deeper into the network so that's why we're using scapy and uh, our code is probably going to be like uh, around 20 to 30 lines of code so I'm not actually doing this from the top of my head, uh, so I want to give a big shout out to the author of the book that I'm uh, linking in the description of this video for inspiring this, this series of lessons. So first off, uh, I'm actually going to break down the building of the scanner in uh, probably two lessons, two videos, and then in the third video, uh, we're going to look at how it works. So this is like the same way I did with the previous tutorial on the screen grabber in Python. If you didn't check that out yet, please do so because uh, it's that's an interesting tool. Okay, so anyways, without waiting uh, or wasting too much time, let's uh, jump right into it. First off, we're gonna use or we're gonna uh, do some logging uh, because if there are some issues, we, we might wanna get a good idea of what those issues are so for that we're going to import logging and then uh, we're going to use logging to uh, the get logger get logger method and for this we're going to look at scapy runtime set level to the logging error logging dot error okay this isn't necessary but like i said it's going to help us uh, understand uh, when an issue appears in our program we're also going to import sys because our tool is going to have command line arguments so that's why we're going to we have to import sys because we're going to use sysargv. And now finally, as it's the norm for scapy, uh, we import from scapy all import everything. All right. So first off, we want to check whether or not um, the command line um, arguments have been all filled out. If they haven't, so if len sysargv is not equal to four so we're gonna have uh four arguments the first off it's gonna be our uh scapy scanner so let me just show you how it might work so scapy scanner dot py we could also say if we run this python scapy scanner that's how we would run it our target let's say one two seven zero zero one the starting point is one, the, the starting port is one, the end port, let's say, is 100. Okay, and uh, that's it. So we have four command line arguments. The first one is the name of the, the tool. The second one is the target. The third one is the start port. And the final one is the end port. So if there are no four arguments for command line arguments we're gonna show the user how to actually uh how to actually use this tool so we'll say print usage and we have a string target start port as i said and end port okay and then for the string we have the sys argv zero which is the name of our file so this is going to be python i mean uh the name of the file the name of the the tool which is scapy scanner target start port end port 
okay and then we'll just gonna gracefully exit so it says exit zero all right now let us define uh, these uh, these arguments so the target is going to be string so this is going to be a string of sys argv1 okay all right then our start port our start port has to be an integer of the sys argv2 so remember that indexing starts at zero in Python. So the zero with argument in this case is the name of the scanner. The first argument is the target. The second argument is an integer. So it's a number, the start port. The end port is going to be an integer of sys argv3, which is our fourth element, the end port. Okay now uh, what we're going to do we're going to actually print uh, let's say so scanning plus plus target let's just have a space in here plus target plus another space inside for open tcp ports okay and then we'll actually gonna add a new line over here all right okay now uh this is where we're gonna stop or let's just uh let's just want to make sure that the start port and the end port so if someone provides uh, the same start port and end port so if they say uh, scapy scanner dot py uh, let's say localhost or not localhost let's say one two seven zero zero one port one starting port port one ending port then our scanner isn't gonna run so to actually avoid that so if we want to scan only one port we'll just have to increment uh, the end port so in this case this is a simple if else it, it's not even uh, if else it's just an if statement so if start port equals equals end port then we're just gonna increment the end port so end port plus equals one and that's it okay so now for the meat I'm gonna I'm gonna let the most important part of this uh, of this scanner for the second uh, for the second part of the tutorial in which we're gonna actually iterate through the ports and uh, use uh, that's where we're actually use we're gonna use scapy to to determine uh, the network packets that are sent the response as well as um, whether or not a, a port response or the target response with a certain flag in which case we'll it, we're gonna understand that the port is open or not so uh, that's where that's where the most important part is so uh, I'm gonna stop here for now please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed it thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video